Hi, this is Khalifa Asif and you are watching Edu Parma. Today I will be explaining about surface tension. Have you ever seen the insect floats on the water, and the shape of falling water droplet is always nearly spherical? Why, paperclip floats on the water surface, although, it is more denser than water. Have you ever thought, why, the rise of liquid in the capillary, when it touches the surface of liquid? Or, have you ever wondered about, the shape of mercury droplets? The reason, behind all these, is the phenomena called, surface tension. Before going to discuss about surface tension, let me first give you, brief idea about, surface and interface. The boundary between two phases, is generally described as, an interface. When, one of these phases, is gas or, a vapor, the term, surface is frequently used. These terms, surface and interface, can be used interchangeably in some cases. Let's talk about some examples of, surface and interface. Any solid exposed to the air shows, the solid surface, as, one phase is solid and other is gas. Water exposed to the air shows, the liquid surface. Similarly, if we take any insoluble solid in water, the boundary formed, will be termed as, solid-liquid interface. If two immiscible liquids are there, the boundary between two liquids, is known as, liquid-liquid interface. Solid-solid interface is also possible, in the powder sample where, the particles touches each other. Let's talk about, the surface tension. Any tension, exerting on the surface, is called surface tension. Surface tension of any liquid, is defined as, the force in dynes, acting along the surface of a liquid, at right angle, to any line, one centimeter in length. Similarly, the tension per unit length, exerted at the interface, is called interfacial tension. The symbol used to denote the surface tension, is usually, gamma. And let's see about the units, of the surface tension. In CGS system, it is presented as, dynes per centimeter. And in SI system, the unit is, newton per meter. At the liquid surface, molecules on the surface have neighboring molecules only on, one side, and thus, experience an attractive force, which tends to pull them into, the interior. At the bulk of the liquid, molecules in the interior, experience an attractive force, from neighboring molecules which surround on all sides. The net effect is that, the molecules at the surface of the liquid, experience an inward force, toward the bulk of the liquid, such force results in what is called, surface tension. Due to this unbalanced forces, the surface of the liquid behaves like, a stretched elastic membrane containing the molecules of the liquid inside. Surface tension is caused by, the net inward pull on the surface molecules. Since the liquid tends to contract to a minimum area, the surface of the liquid appears to be in a state of tension, which takes the form of a sphere. That's it for today, thanks for watching.